Let's talk about comic book speculation sure, in the absolutely. 90s, which yeah. was com- in the 90s comic books had a, a massive boom. Why do you think that was? It was uh, was I it think Batman 89? Potentially. Yeah. I don't know, but comic books were just a huge business back then, and I think it's because you could just get them at newsstands. Oh, okay. That's not really a thing now. Yeah. But back in the day, you could just pick up one for, you know, 50 cents at a newsstand or whatever. I don't know what a newsstand is. Exactly. But. It's all comic book stores now. <laughs> but I think, but like, it was not uncommon. Like, if a, if a book sold like, a hundred thousand copies. Yeah, it was out. Yeah, no good. Yeah. Nowadays, if a if a comic book sold a hundred thousand copies, that would be amazing. Absolutely. Like yeah. it was not uncommon for like Todd McFarlane, like a Todd McFarlane or a Jim Lee book or whatever, to mm. sell five hundred, six hundred thousand copies. The first issue of Spider Man. Yeah. Sold like one point three million copies or something like that. It's too many. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's crazy. But I th- what, but what happened is that they all decided to you know branch out, create Image Comics. Mm. Whole bunch of people whose names I can't recall. Rob Liefeld. Lib- Rob Liefeld. Eric Larson. The two we said before. Yeah. Mark Silvestri. Yep. Wills Potatio. Wills. Wills Potatio. Yeah. Uh, Eric, a couple other people. But anyway, they, so they all they all came up with new number ones. It was you know Spawn, Savage yeah. Dragon, Wetworks, Cyberforce. <laughs> Whatever Rob Liefeld did. All the classics you know and love. All the classics. What did Rob Liefeld do? I should know that. No, he did bloody Young Blood. See, the only ones from that, I'm like, there's still... Savage Spawn Dragon. is still around. Spawn's Savage still around. Dragon is Savage still Jack's around. Still do- and it's doing well. original. It's still Eric Larson. Oh, is like, it? it's not... And there's a lot of good Savage Dragon stuff, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And, and it's weird because all those issue ones, they, like, they were selling... Like, people were collecting them thinking, oh, they're issue ones. They'll be worth exactly, something. Exactly. That's true, yeah. But when you sell a, a million, 1.3 million copies <laughs> yes. of something, it yeah. is not worth anything. Absolutely, yeah. Because the rule of anything being worth something is it has to be at some point worth nothing to eventually yes. be worth anything. For example, the Star Wars figures. Yeah. Everybody bought Star Wars figures, played with them, got rid of them, threw them in a bin, a dog ate them, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But the people who kept them, yep. the very few, means that those, because they were worth virtually nothing, which means people turfed them. Yep. So if people keep them or had them for whatever reason, then they're worth a lot because yes, they're Yes, absolutely. Rare. But now, like, you've got your limited edition Kylo Ren's. They sell however many million that it, that is. And everybody buys one Everybody's to one, open yeah. and one to keep. Exactly. Yeah. Which essentially renders them worthless. Worthless. Or their original price. Yes, exactly. So that, well, that's the thing, like... um. I read a thing on collectibles a while ago, and mm. you know, in order for something to be collectible, yeah, right, it has to. But it not only does it have to get to zero, yeah. it has to go below what's called the trough of no value. <laughs> so it has to be worth negative money. So you have to be like, I'll take these up. I hands. couldn't sell this, but also it's taken up space yeah. in this in this crate that I could be keeping. This is like the Atari old landfill. batteries in. Yeah, it's exactly. The, yeah, it's the and so so that was the the thing about the nineties is. People look back and they went, "Oh, Super Action Comics number one featuring Superman. Yeah. That's worth the time was worth like twenty seven thousand dollars or something yeah. like that, and now it's worth millions. millions. Yeah. yeah, and and people are like, oh, so this is the number one, like this is the new crop of number ones from the new hot creators. All these, all these books, all these characters are going to be legendary, iconic characters forever. Yeah. So we will we'll get these. We'll yeah. speculate. We'll buy all these. We'll buy all the variant covers, and then in twenty years we'll sell them and make a mint." All the spawn, <laughs> wet works, Will Sportatia. No, he did wet works. <laughs> uh, bloody Shadow Hawk. Do you think though this could get into the trough, trough of despair or whatever? Now that people are like, well, these aren't. Worth yeah, anything. well, they have to eventually. But I think the timeline is extended. I think it'll have to yeah. be like a hundred years. Yeah, maybe, absolutely. At least, yeah. yeah. What's that yeah. line from Indiana Jones? You put like an old, like a trinket watch in the desert, and a thousand years it's worth like. That's whatever. right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a good movie. We should yeah. talk about those movies. Let's do it now. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like when you get people like buying up all the things and collecting everything, I think it ruins it for kids. Yeah, boy, does it? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I yeah, think yeah. There's this guy called uh, the Russian comic book geek who I like a lot. Oh yes, but he did this video called "Comics Should Be for Everybody." Yep, and it's basically how he talks about a lot of the comic book industry has been hijacked by people who used to be fans as kids. Yep. This conversation turned to something completely else. It's That's fine. Different. It's fine. I, I was high de- I, and people who loved comics who now go back to the store and just kind of buy up everything and then kind of shit on anything new and hate anybody who doesn't know a lot about a certain thing. Right. And you, you know what the thing is about comics or any kind of movie or anything for me is whatever level you like it at is okay. Yeah. You can be new to something or you could have a passing interest in something. That doesn't make you less. Doesn't yeah. make you less of a person because <laughs> if you know less about Spider Man than yeah. another person, maybe you just maybe the exact circumstances of your birth and life 
haven't led you to liking and knowing the same amount of, about Spider-Man as a certain other person. Exactly. You know? And and that's why with when movies come out and people get angry at, you know, say like a, the new X-Men movie comes out and people get angry at other people who go, you just you don't even like X-Men, you just jumped on the bandwagon right, because right, it's an right. X-Men movie. Who fucking cares, man? Like, le- people can like things or not like things. It yes. doesn't matter. Like, if you're the biggest fan, great. If you're not, who cares? Yeah, like, yeah. N- none of this, again, I always say this, none of this matters. You can you just like what you like at whatever yeah. level you want to like it at. Yeah. Because there are people out there who know infinitely more than us. Yep. And that's great. Sure. <laughs> that's, you know I mean? that's most people you're that's talking most about. Most people, yeah. yeah. Red 